So I was reading into Birth Strike, that movement, because I find it interesting. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically just the idea that, um, you know, there's a certain small number of people mostly located in the UK that uh, are intentionally not procreating despite the desire to do so, um, specifically because the earth is not being taken care of and we're not doing enough for climate change. So their point is like, they're not going to give the sort of like politicians the fuel to consider or um, to continue their society um, and their economy uh, and pay taxes. You know, they're not going to like provide the, the cannon fodder or the raw material to be governed if the governing entities will not handle the climate issue. And I think it's, you know, it's kind of like a, it's like a optics thing. It's like a, um, it's like a spectacle, you know, to draw attention to the issue. Um, obviously as antinatalists, we don't think that way. We think you should procreate for the sake of the child, not for the sake of the earth. And, you know, there are some people that are conditional antinatalists, some people that are unconditional. Um, I guess what I want to talk about is the fact that I really like this idea that, like, by not procreating, you're kind of giving a big uh, fuck you to the people in charge. Um, you know, these people, like, um, there are a lot of countries where the birth rate is falling, and the people in charge do not like that at all. Because if your your birth rate falls below replacement rate, it becomes hard to sort of, like, sustain that sort of, like, same economic growth that you had before, it leads to weird age structures in society where you can't really prop up the like social security because there's not enough young people paying in and there's more older people taking out. And, you know, there's like a lot of issues that happen um, when people's uh, countries fall below replacement rates. And um, I also think that this is obviously true in like America on the right and it seems to be true in other uh, nationalist countries with these like right-wing nationalist uprising things. Um, it seems to be that they really want the like middle class, lower middle class, uh, white people to reproduce, right? They're not out there, um, advocating for, uh, you know, uh, black families or Latino families or, uh, you know, families of non-white uh, backgrounds to reproduce a lot. They're out there advocating specifically for white, um, native born American families to reproduce, which, you know, so to me is obviously like a, a race thing, um, as well. So, uh, I, I am a white middle, lower middle class person who, you know, I like by choosing not to reproduce. Like I said, I'm giving a big fuck you to these, um, these like, uh, MAGA people, to these right-wing nationalists, to these, like, ethno-state crazy people, um, I'm giving a big fuck you to the, you know, the people that are governing me, um, you know, who I hate, who I think are corrupt and, um, deluded and ridiculous, um, I'm giving a big fuck you to them because I'm not going to, like, contribute to the continuation of their society that is so shitty that they, like, I'm not going to provide any more people to be governed by them because they have certainly not shown me that, like, they deserve it, right? Um, so, like, it's a big fuck you to them. Like, I hope they have this birth uh, rate problem that they have to deal with, right? Um, it's, it's also, like, in my mind, a big fuck you to, like, the corporations that, uh, you know, keep cutting it closer and closer to the bone. They keep um, upping the level of exploitation and up in the level of exploitation to just see like how little can we give people um, and have them still survive and not riot um, and over you know like overturn things like it's like how close to the bone can we cut it you know that's the thinking how much can we exploit them how much can we transfer from the poor and you know middle class I don't think is really like a thing I think you're either poor or like a thin bubble between being poor and you know what I mean? It's, it's a very thin line, this whole middle class thing. Uh, and it, it's not the middle, you know, it's like, it's not like you average the wealthy and the poor and get the middle class. The middle class is just like one catastrophe away from being poor, really, you know? Um, 
especially in the United States where it could be a metal, medical catastrophe, even if you've done everything right, you know, um, quote unquote right, you know, so the point is, um, I like that I'm not giving cannon fodder to, to the, uh, the nationalists, the race crazy people, the, um, the govern, the governing slime balls. Uh, I'm not giving, giving cannon fodder to the, uh, exploitative corporations, um, nor am I giving cannon fodder to the, uh, religious wing nuts, um, you know, the people in charge of churches and, um, I'm not bringing someone in to, to keep their little project going, uh, of religion. So, you know, I like that, um, by not reproducing, in addition to having less of a damaging impact on the earth, in addition to not forcing a person into existence who did not ask for it, cannot consent to it, and may not enjoy their time here, who may want to leave but be unable to. In addition to all those things, I like that I'm giving a big middle finger to all these terrible forces that I've spent my life hating, that I've spent my life being, you know, tossed around and smacked around by. Um, so yeah, um, they can all go fuck themselves, and I'm going to call this one a day. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm winning in this regard, you know, this is like the one, one of the few areas where you can just win and be like, yep, yeah, you're not getting this from me, you bunch of, you know, slime, slimy assholes. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you later.